he was making his way into the Soyuz craft earlier this afternoon. This was Hopkins' first space flight. And there, uh, a quick look at uh, Ale Kotov saying farewell to Koichi Wakata, who he passed command of the International Space Station to. Ko again, Wakata staying on as the commander of Expedition 39. Uh, following that, uh, Kotov ready. You can see uh, Rosansky, his fellow Russian cosmonaut, uh, also uh, a former rookie flyer, no longer a rookie uh, anymore. That hatchway being closed between the International Space Station and the Poisk module. The space Station was flying just over the northeastern portion of Mongolia. And then right after, by a little over half a meter per second, uh, this done when the craft was a little around 15 to 20 meters away. looks uh, we'll cut away we're getting some live view from the landing site uh, here you can see all three removed Kotov there in the middle Mike Hopkins smiling there on the right Sergei Rizansky on the left the three have been carried out of the Soyuz at this point or uh, in uh, some chairs uh, in there we go we see Mike Hopkins a big smile on his face after just completing 166 days in space right there now Sergei Rizansky a big smile for him as well. The crew uh, covered with blankets. Uh, as mentioned, temperatures hovering right around zero degrees Fahrenheit. So a bit of a uh, frigid shock uh, for their first few moments back down here on Earth. Uh, but the crew looking again in good spirits. And at this point, they're beginning to carry the crews away. Don't drop first loading them uh, into these all-terrain vehicles. You can see they're dealing with uh, a couple inches of snow there in the landing zone.